Hi friends, I'm meteorologist Rusty Bacraney and welcome to Weather Express. Your weather in five minutes. Start the clock. We've got a fast moving winter storm in the Great Lakes and New England right now, but we are gonna start today in the West where a major winter storm is still dropping feet of snow in some areas and bitterly cold conditions in others. Let's go out west. If you look up in the big sky in the northern plains, current temperatures right now in places like Bismarck, North Dakota, and Glen Falls, Montana are at or below zero. But that's only part of the story right now because when you factor in wind gusts, which are coming in at 25, 30, even 35 miles an hour, the wind chill or the feels like temperature is dangerously cold. You don't want to be outdoors when your wind chill factor is 35 and even 40 degrees below zero. Please be very cautious. This bitterly cold wind chill goes all the way through South Dakota into Northern Nebraska and portions of Wyoming as well. So again, just some extremely cold conditions there, and there's gonna be some snow flying in those areas. Speaking of rain and snow, it's even a little bit more concentrated along the Pacific Northwest. You got a cold rain in Seattle, currently at around 36 degrees. You get into the higher elevations of the Cascades up into Vancouver, BC, obviously that turns into some snow. Speaking of some snow, we see that right now in the Southwest sides of Oregon and the portions of Northern California. Now look, it's really heavy rain coming into places like Eureka, cold rain as well, up through the Redding area but we get into the higher elevations of the Sierra Nevadas, this is going to quickly turn into some significant snowfall totals, and we're going to see some snow all the way through portions of eastern Oregon into Idaho, Montana, portions of Wyoming as well. Let me show you the current advisories that are currently into play right now, and you're going to see a lot of pink on this map, and anywhere you see that are winter storm warnings. The purples are going to be winter weather advisories. So for the northeast side of California, we're talking about up to two feet of snow above 5,500 feet in elevation. And that's only part of the story because we're going to have some winds 50, 60, maybe even 70 miles an hour in some locations. It's absolutely going to have visibility be zero. It's going to cause all kinds of problems for travel in these spots. You get down towards Mammoth Lakes. Now look, they're talking about one to three feet, up to four feet possible in some areas to go along with wind gusts of 55 miles an hour. You wanna just shut down things. That's what we're going to see in the Sierra Nevadas. Now, even towards Reno and Carson City, Nevada, right? They're dealing with a high wind warning there where they could have wind gusts of up to 70 miles an hour. So the wind is gonna be a huge story to go along with some very significant snow. Now, the snow is not gonna be as prevalent in Montana you're looking at a couple of inches uh, in some areas. Here we have seven to 14, it is area dependent. I've seen some areas with less, but again, the wind gusts are gonna be phenomenal in some of these spots as well. Let's go out towards the east. Let me drop this advisory off the map and you can clearly see a fast moving winter storm in the Great Lakes. Now look, it is warm enough right now. We're even towards Detroit. This is gonna be some rain more than anything else. We're gonna have some snow quickly moving through portions of Northern Michigan. And then right now, at least for the Western sides of New York, it's warm enough where it's a cold rain. Buffalo is above freezing in at 39. There could be a little bit of winter precipitation that'll be mixed in with this as well. When we look at the advisors, you're not gonna see much. Again, for Northern sides of Michigan, you have a winter weather advisory up to four inches of snow. I would also watch out for a little bit of sleet and freezing rain in the far northern sides of New York again, maybe three to six inches there. It's a beautiful day in the Southern Plains. Look at these temperatures. St. Louis has hit 73. We're in the lower 80s in Texas right now. How about that? Uh, in portions of the Southeast, we had some fog earlier this morning. Let me show you the visible satellite imagery here in Florida, really dealing with some thicker fog. More fog is likely overnight as well, but as far as any rain threat, Nothing right now in warming conditions. All right, let's get into the forecast here, and I'm gonna show you the HER model. This is a high resolution model over the next couple of days. We'll first of all actually start out with this storm that's quickly moving through the Great Lakes and New England. Again, it's moving so fast, it's not going to add up to a lot. You can see that it quickly races on by, maybe a little bit of snow early tomorrow, but other than that, things will be drying out. We're gonna have a few showers developing in the Southern Plains. This is a system that deeper in the week, it's gonna get stronger and it's gonna have more impacts for Arklatex, the Midwest, and into the Tennessee Valley. And I'll highlight that as we come through the week. But the big story again, 
is this winter storm slamming into the west. You can see the center of circulation sitting off of the Washington coastline, and that's going to drive in all of the southwest winds and all of the coastal rain and the mountain snow. We could have coastal flooding. We could have feet of snow. We could have winds up to 70 miles an hour, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. This will be an impactful storm over the next 24 to 48 hours in these spots. It's going to be a big problem. Friends, as you can see from the clock, I'm out of time. If you like this content, I appreciate you liking this video and subscribing to Weather Express. Thanks for commenting where you're viewing from and what the weather has been like in your area. We appreciate the Weather Express community. You have a great rest of your day. I'm back tomorrow with your latest five-minute forecast.